could have the most beautiful graphic elements in the world. However, if your composition isn't that amazing, all of that goes out of the window. <laughs> and you might be asking what exactly is a composition? Well, in very simple terms, it's the part where all separate elements come together to form a whole, when all of your type, your images, your graphics and colors come together to form one cohesive design. So for example, a successful composition means that you have arranged, distributed, aligned and compiled your design in a way that not only looks good but it also highly functional and effective. So let's run over a few tips, tricks and techniques that will have you mastering composition in no time. Starting first with finding your focus. Having focus is a very important thing. A key element to any good composition is a strong focal point as it helps your viewers eyes naturally settle on the important pieces of your design first. So when choosing your focal point, keep in mind that main goal of any design is communication. Whether you're communicating an idea, some information or simply feeling an emotion. Your design is telling a specific story, so be sure to choose a focal point that helps this story get told in the strongest, most effective way. Some ways to draw focus are through techniques like scale, contrast and leading lines, which we are going to discuss in deed. Directing the eye with leading lines is very important technique to show the most important design elements first. Just like when you point at something when you won't be able to look at that thing, by positioning certain lines and shapes in certain ways you can control the viewpoint of your design or simply where your viewers eyes go when they see your design. So for example a common use of leading lines that you might be pretty familiar with is within flowcharts. Flowcharts use lines to direct your eye from one point to another in an obvious way. Of course not every design you will create will have such obvious lines for you to adjust to direct viewpoints. However you can find shapes and lines within your images and graphic elements and use them to direct the eye in certain ways. Scale and visual hierarchy are some of those creative fundamentals that can really make or break your designs, so it's important to have a good hold on them to maintain a successful composition. In a very brief explanation, hierarchy is the arrangement and design of elements in order to visually signal importance. Hierarchy is especially important when it comes to type, and that's why we do have headlines or main titles as level 1, subheads as level 2, then we do have paragraphs or text as level 3. A scale for example is often used to help communicate hierarchy by drawing attention toward and away from certain elements, thus signifying their importance to the communication. Scale is also an incredibly handy tool for giving your design proportion and a sense of size as well. So for example by contrasting a small scale element next to a large scale element in your composition, you can create a number of different effects. Balance is pretty important thing in many regards, and your designs are absolutely no exception. <laughs> and actually we do have two types of balance to apply within our design. First we have symmetrical balance. It balances your design using symmetry by reflecting certain design elements from left to right or even top to bottom you can create a strong sense of balance. The other type of balance is more common in design world and it's called asymmetrical balance which is also a fairly self-explanatory term in that it concerns creating balance without symmetry so for example a good technique for mastering asymmetrical balance is to think of each element as having a weight to it. So smaller objects might weigh less than larger objects and heavily textured elements might weigh more than flatly colored elements. Whatever the case for your design, balance these weighted elements out until you reach an effective equilibrium. Using elements that complement each other is so essential for your design's success. So it's really important to take your time to carefully select each element of your design, so that each part complements the whole. So for example, a common error in composition is using images that don't complement each others. So when using more than one image in your composition, try to make sure that they look effective and cohesive when grouped together. 
like maybe using photos from the same photo shoot or even color your photos similarly as well. Contrast is very useful tool for both highlighting and hiding certain elements of your design. By upping the contrast or using a high contrast feature color, you can help an element stand out and draw attention. Likewise, by lowering the contrast, you can make an element fade into the background. Repeating elements of your design is so essential to maintain consistency and a logical layout. So for example, try to take specific elements from one section of your design and apply it to another one. Or maybe a style of type can be applied to more than one section of your design. Or perhaps a graphic ornament can be used more than once. So try to tie your design together with repeated elements. Also repetition is a key factor when it comes to multi-page layouts. Repeating elements of your layout and design helps each page flow into the next creating a cohesive set of pages. White space or sometimes it's called negative space is very important aspect when it comes to maintaining a successful layout. White space when used strategically can help boost your design's clarity and overall look by balancing out the more complicated and busy parts of your composition with a space that helps your design to breathe. So you might be wondering how you can achieve white space within your layout. First of all, you can scale down your graphic elements. And by scaling down your design elements, you can create luxurious white space around your focal points while staying within the frame of your original graphic. Also make sure not to fill every space with content. And I know this might be daunting sometimes. Especially in your head, sometimes you'll be thinking, I want to impress my client. I want to achieve a complex design and through that process you will be forgetting about white spaces. And always remember that minimal designs are very strong designs. And here's a quick tip for you guys. When you're working on your design, ask yourself if each element of your design is 100% necessary. Do you need all that type or maybe some ornaments? By subtracting the unnecessary bits and pieces of your design, you can create a more direct design that makes the most of white space. When designing a composition that has many elements, don't just throw them all on the page and call it a day, okay? <laughs> because aligning these elements is a quick and easy way to transform your design from shabby to chic. And don't worry guys, most of design applications will be helping you through that process either by having a feature like smart guides or a snap to guide feature or even applying a grid. Aligning your elements in a strong and logical way also helps you create order amongst many elements. So if you're using a lot of images, a lot of type and maybe a lot of graphic elements, alignment will be your best friend in that case. And also alignment is very important when dealing with type there are many ways to align your type, however the most famous one will be aligning to left and needless to mention, especially of course if that language from left to right direction. The rule of thirds is a simple technique where designers divide their designs up into three rows and three columns. Dividing your design into thirds can be easily achieving a great layout, which is called the rule of thirds. And at the point where the vertical and horizontal lines meet is where your focal points should be. And using rule of thirds is a great way to kick off your design's composition as it gives you a quick guide to positioning and framing your elements.